corn goddess. From the beginning until the 21st century, and then two versions of our future. The corn field as sacred space from the beginning. You can see why someone would make a goddess of this. This bristling, rustling, breathing, this closest to gold that we can eat. This fragrance like a distilled whisper. This sweetness that comes from earth, from sun, from rain. The corn goddess gives and gave for millennia a legacy of life. But by the 21st century, you can see why no one would eat this if they knew the kernels are teeth that bite back, that the Frankenstein seeds come from GMO in Monsanto. The farmer in overalls fades to the man in the hazmat suit. The sun glares like the eye of a psychopath. The corn goddess withers in a dead world of a world. The only harvest is by ghost of ghost. The last crow, cause, cause, cause. You are the cause. You are the cause. This is our legacy, unless things change. They change. We change. This is my legacy unless I change. And if so, then, then the corn goddess returns in her regalia of sun and rain, <clears throat> breathing green. Gold, 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 the wind calls. The rain, the earth, the sun are giving you gold, gold, gold. The field bristles, rustles, breathes again, and the goddess's heart beats. Her feet dance up and down the rows of stalks. Her legacy to us, our legacy to our descendants, for another millennium at least. Mm -hmm.